beautiful March, early spring day today. So I'd come out and show you what's occurring in the garden. Everything's starting to look spring into life now. Now we're getting these longer days. It's a bit windy today, but a bit nippy, but apart from that, it's a beautiful day. As you can see, everything, these hollyhocks are looking nice. A bit of rust on there, which is not nice, but I'll spray for that in the next few weeks. Foxgloves. shortly we come down all oh, this has been weeded one of my lovely little pins this is gonna be a nice one this year yeah, that's got some nice growth on it there Look forward to that flowering these primulas just can't get over how big these flowers are My carnations. Look at between this one. I've got one here that I look in the garden. I've got one in the greenhouse that's absolutely flowering its head off. Pick that up. Brum Bramble, if I can get it out there. Yeah, look at that. So I don't want in my garden. There's another piece of it actually. Oh no, that's alright, just leaf. Yeah, these are foxgloves I uh, transferred last week when I, when I was weeded. So I do a lot better here. Thankfully, Japanese enemies there. We've got some peonies down here. They're from last year. As we look along here, some more aquilegias. These are daffodils that get ready to flower. They're an old uh, variety. Some delphiniums here. Just clean some of this rubbish off. But they're looking well now. Black eyed Susan there. hollyhocks here as you can see look at how twisted that shoot is there and it's a bit <coughs> come down here sorry folks this is this always looks a mess under here because of all the bird feeders i've got but as we come along here look at this this is an old variety of peony this doesn't flower for as long as the others the other flowers don't last as long either but at that look at how meaty that is when it's flowered this year next this time next year we're going to divide that it's going to look lovely spread out here we have some more day lilies this is an oriental poppy it's a white one called diane joyce and as we come down some more aquilegias Hard, I think something like that. Another peony there. Some uh, don't think it last year. Just there and there. And a little bit of the nice dissentry here, bleeding heart. And as we come down, got some more flowers here. There are some more flowers here. Some more lupins, some bearded irises there, which need digging up and dividing this year. So they are getting too, too compact. Come down. Nice penstemon. But it's been quite a mild winter, it's survived pretty well that. It's a beautiful black, bright red flower on that. A native penstemon here. Look at the flowers on here, absolutely gorgeous. I've nearly gone over though these now. Yeah, I need to be digging these up because I've got a beautiful uh, delphinium here. As you can see, it's got a lot of damage on it from <coughs> basically insects 
caterpillars, that sort of thing. So I'm going to dig this up, I think, next few days. Dig it up, wash it all off, divide it, and put it in some pots and stick it in the greenhouse. Give it a good start, because it's one of them from seed this. And the blue on it is absolutely electric. It's magnificent, I love it. Here's some lilies here, in some pots. I mean, I've had these in these pots for about four or five years, and every year I keep saying, oh, I'll take them out of the pots and I'll plant them, but I'm definitely doing that this year. You come around here. This is a plant that I should not have pruned back when I pruned it. But I was just sick of it. Caused a lot of damage under here, so I pruned it back. It might come back, still got some nice green growth on there. So, we'll see. And these, really beautiful agapanthus. As you can see, this one here definitely splitting into two or three because it's really popped down that one now. So can, but it's solid, absolutely solid. These are the ones at the back here that have grown from seed. So hopefully we get some flowers from them. I think that's high, high born variety. This is a climber that I cut by clematis. So hopefully that'll fatten up and it should be like this one on this side. It's just clematis here. I'll show you the top here. This is gonna it's a lovely double, it's a nice purple, absolutely gorgeous. So that's a panic for that. We come around here, as you can see, I top every couple of years I chop these parts up because of that, chop it up and increase more new growth from around the root. It's a nice silver birch tree that I'm gonna plant in the garden this year. They're self-seeded, as you can see. So we come around here. More agapanthus that are grown from seed. I'm hoping to get some really unusual flowers off these this year. And then just pot some more agapanthus there. As you can see underneath there, looks all dead. All that new growth ready to pop into action. And then I've got a couple of peonies in pots. You see the new growth just come in there, and that's about it. So I sit down on my little bench here. Oh sit down and enjoy the sun Let's try and stop it from blinding you and blinding me yeah it's looking really nice I mean, when you're out of that wind and you're just in the sun it's absolutely gorgeous so yeah the grass needs good feed in the next few weeks give it a good rake re-edge it and then i think i might get some bricks this year and just build a little edge up here probably about a foot high 18 inches and then I can backfill that and I can make that bed a lot nicer then. So anyway, that's my videos. If you like my videos, please subscribe. And as always, happy sewing, happy growing. Please keep safe. And please, thank you very much. Bye.